to a known index of character pixel patterns. So the language I use for this project is MATLAB because MATLAB is it cons consists of a lot of mathematical functions which I can here reuse them anytime and uh, moreover my code will be much easier to implement because I would have the access to all the libraries of uh, libraries of MATLAB. So coming to the description and the implementation part uh, uh, that means how I'm I'm doing the project so the first and foremost thing as I mentioned in that diagram itself I'm inputting an image and uh, reducing the noise so as I mentioned I'm taking any image from a scanner or a digital device but it's better to take, to, uh, take the image from a scanner in order to avoid any noise levels so noise levels what do they mean is uh, I'm reducing the image quality either by any changes in the brightness or contrast so they should be minimized as much as possible so that you don't get any blurring or text skew effect coming to the next step that is that I mentioned is the pre-processing so we do some more alterations to the image to make it suitable for recognition so the first step we are doing is from RGB to grayscale conversion so this is the primary step in order to convert a colored image to a grayscale image usually a pixel value in a colored image is a combination of uh, three colors red blue and green while well, that in the grayscale is represented as a single matrix. So for our sake of convenience and simplicity and making our text detection easier and faster, uh, we convert it into a grayscale image or a grayscale matrix. Uh, next step of pre-processing was binarization. So it is the process of uh, converting the resultant grayscale image into a binary image using some kind of uh, threshold values so this threshold value is calculated by a gray thrash function which is uh, which uses otsu's method of calculating uh, intra class variance of uh, black and white pixels so this output binary image would replace all pixels which have a luminescence greater than threshold value with white or say one and those less uh, those lesser uh, those uh, which are not having such kind of luminescence would be replaced by zero or a black so uh, in addition to this we also perform a small step called thinning to ensure we perform a process of minimizing width of all the foreground pixels because uh, these will be uh, then matched by the nearby uh, background pic uh, nearby uh, neighbor or neighboring background pixels so in our code uh, we got rid of all those pixels which are like uh, 35 pixels wide or height in order to get a better image for recognition so coming to our next step and this is called the line segmentation so this refers to segment separation of different lines in the image so each line is going to be separated on basis of minimum vertical gap present on line and above and below the line so this gap helps to detect and uh, separate different lines of characters so this also in turn returns a clipping into small images you know on the basis of each and every line you'll get different images and the second part of this is the character segmentation so this refers to characters that are present in each separated line so what we are basically doing is uh, we are running a loop from in between uh, from the 
very first line to the last line and uh, line wise we are separating the characters so this is uh, there is a horizontal gap between the characters which are which is going to be used for separation so we also have implemented a letter cropping mechanism which crops characters according to their sizes so the best thing we could do is uh, we had a we used a image we used an image correlation function and that is used for sampling for uh, that is for the sampling image as well as the template image so we have used a matrix matrix matching method to compare the sample size image uh, 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 I mean the reduce the sample size image to 42 into 24 pixels and uh, then correlated with the uh, with the image size which we have mentioned uh, with the predefined images that are 42 into 24 stored bitmap image so coming to the evaluations and accuracy part well uh, our system was didn't give 100% accuracy at all but over the, all the accuracy rate was more than 80% and I guess it was good uh, like you see I have sorted uh, cited some examples like where our system might have uh, not been able to recognize few characters or numbers uh, like uh, for characters L J 2 small L small J 2 and U they were not being able to map properly because uh, might be it couldn't differentiate, differentiate between I and L owing to their uh, bitmap images as we have stored a bitmap image or a glyph image for each one of the characters. So in, you, in this you see in the following example everything was right except 2. 2 got replaced by Z maybe because 2 couldn't be uh, the matrix of this sample image 2 could match with the 2 in the bitmap image and uh, moreover it it might have uh, analyzed this as Z so therefore it replaced 2 with Z and there are a few more examples like uh, taking for the smaller case letters so in this you see that uh, small u has been replaced by capital U everywhere and then there's uh, there's one more example like in which we saw some separation of the spaces although everything is coming right all the output is coming right but something might be wrong with the space alignment problem uh, something might be um, there might be problem with the space alignment so as you see uh, it worked well with the uh, with this part it worked well with the small case part but it didn't work well here so what can be the reason that it didn't pr produce 100% accuracy so one reason I could cite was if the characters those extracted from images like we uh, I didn't run uh, just on these three uh, the character uh, I didn't run my OCR program on these three images there were many images and what I got from uh, got was that uh, the characters extracted from images were extremely big in size and uh, the metrics of uh, for 20, 42 into 24 which could be extracted couldn't match with the stored bitmap images and thereby might have uh, might it didn't give the accurate result uh, sometimes it can be due to the low resolution uh, though we had implemented all those uh, steps of pre-processing steps which included uh, uh, noise reduction uh, grayscale conversion or binarization but some you know everything is not 100% so this might have reduced the accuracy to considerable amount sometimes it also happens that there's inefficient image processing like some in some images I analyzed that the dot over I uh, was replaced by something else 
like I was uh, that dot was completely removed. As I said that I have reduced all those noise levels which are less than 35. So it might have analyzed this as an as a noise level, and thereby it uh, removed the dot. So that there it might have been treated as L. So in some images I found that I was also replaced by L. And sometimes uh, it also happens that uh, segmentation was improper. Like in the segmentation code, uh, I just uh, mentioned something about the spaces. So I I don't have a variable space amount. The variable space amount, uh, the space amount is fixed slightly. So that may be the problem as well. And of course, uh, not the least, we cannot. Uh, the, uh, the poor document quality of the original images can also hamper because like uh, as I mentioned earlier uh, the, uh, the reduction in the noise level cannot be 100% so what can be the conclusion so though I studied the methodology, uh, methodology for this and uh, it was practically evaluated we couldn't get a hundred percent accuracy so what we can do what are the future scopes of this project so we can get this text and we can also convert that text to speech as there are various apis for that and uh, we can also make a cross language ocr machine development like uh, you can uh, get the handwriting as input uh, you can get the uh, input image as a stream of text and then you can make a language out of it through text to speech and thus this OCR technology like uh, I mentioned the very first problem in the beginning of the presentation it's in the banks and uh, government offices where customers are always increasing so this OCR technology can provide a very good uh, automated data capture. So this can also reduce labors, labor costs, would be efficient in, in, efficient in uh, accuracy and also lead to considerable good time. However, there are still researchers which are going on uh, efficient extraction of uh, the text because uh, right, uh, like I researched about this topic so I found out that uh, none of the softwares is able to get the 100% accuracy so uh, there are still uh, some areas which are focusing on cursive text extraction calligraphy handwritings or various handwritten material using some machine learning techniques so coming to our code, so here's our code. So if I run it, and here's my image. So you see, at at the very first beginning, at the very beginning, you found out that it was a, a white background, and just replaced by, uh, and uh, that was uh, the foreground was in black. And right now, as uh, the binary uh, as the RGB to grayscale conversion and binarization was performed, so the text the text material uh, came in all white, while the background came in all red, uh, all black. So the output I got is this. You see, as I said, U has been replaced by capital U, and somewhere I'm lacking the space like here and like uh, in these digits though some are coming properly aligned properly spaced but there are some extra spaces two is also replaced by z so that's how i get my efficiencies as 80 to 90 percent so that's it about my presentation